Hey guys, Bill from Competition Cars. I have another really neat vehicle that I've got up for sale on Bring a Trailer. Uh, for those of you that are seeing this video on YouTube, possibly before the Bring a Trailer auction starts, I post these videos and I've been getting a lot of questions. How come it's not on my website for sale? How come I'm not giving you a price? It's because I buy these old classics specifically for Bring a Trailer, which is a seven day online auction. So I can't give you a price because it's gonna be auctioned off. Uh, when the auction goes live, I will post in the comments on YouTube that, hey guys, the auction's live on Bring a Trailer. There'll be hundreds of pictures and lots of videos and um, plenty of information for you to look at to make a decision on the car. Anyway, 72 Olds 98 Coupe, 14,800 original miles on it. The car is uh, mostly original paint. I've got paint meter readings. I go around the entire car. Uh, the, normal, the normal paint thickness is supposed to be about two mil on a base coat car without clear. So the entire car reads two all the way around except for three areas. This fender, part of this fender reads four mil, and that could be within the range, but everything else is two. Uh, some of this is two and there's open four. So maybe there's a little bit of paint work on this fender coming back around the back of the car. It has a um, period correct aftermarket sunroof installed. So obviously the entire roof has been painted. You can see a little bit of the body work. It's older, it's been in the car a long time. I haven't seen a roof like this in ages. So it, you've got that going on. Um, and they, they, they painted and blended down to here. You can see a little bit of a, a variation in the, in the blending right here. Um, the whole back of the car is all original paint, the trunk, the deck lid. And when I got the car, um, this fender right here had a scuff that was through the paint right here in the back where this quarter met the tail light uh, section here. So I had my guy try to keep it as tight as possible, but he had to blend it, color it, and then blend it out so it would match nice. Um, I said there was not any severe bind damage. It was just scuffed just enough that was into the into the body itself. And we had to you know put a little, a slight, slight repair there and then, and then blend that. The rest of the car is original paint. Um, in 72, these cars came with, from what I, the research I did, just, just basically um, hubcaps on them. This has, Fairly period correct wire wheels come around the side. So you can see the pulse light it better. With, um, I think they're called appliance wire wheels with Vogue tires. I think it looks cool. You know, I struggled with the foul. I said, you know what, should I put the a stock hub ca hub cap back on it? But I just think with the uh, aftermarket roof and the aftermarket wheels, it kind of gives it an, an appropriate, you know, look for this car, I, I think. I, I think it looks sharp, personally. If you look at the chrome, I mean, incredibly good a lot of these cars the chrome is faded or pitted this chrome is literally pristine all the way around from the bright work to the bumpers even up under the bumpers looks great uh the bright work on the hood is all good all the bright work around the edge of the car and the windows and everything is, is in great shape um door handle most of these have a lot of pitting this has a teeny i mean i mean i think it's not that's pitting but teeny little imperfection here 98 badges are in good shape. The trim around the back window is in good shape. The chrome around the bezels of the taillights are in great shape. The back bumper, again, pristine. I mean, this is one of the first cars I've had in a long time that the that the chrome was actually in that good condition. Um, just a beautiful body style. You know, it's got some aftermarket tips on the on the exhaust. It is a 455 with a four barrel. Um, if you look at the interior of the car, the interior speaks to the originality. As far as the condition, all the rubbers and the moldings are in great shape. They're very soft, very supple still. They're not dried and cracked. You can look at the carpets. You can look at the seats, the dash, the door panels. Definitely um, the uh, interior matches the 14,000 miles that the car has. Headliner is in great shape. The back seats are impeccable. I mean, the front seats are impeccable too. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been sat in. If you look back here, look. I mean, everything is just so clean and so fresh looking. It's like going back to 72 and hopping in a practically new car. Um, a lot of times this, this stuff gets faded over time because of the sun. But it's obvious the car was, was preserved very well and garage kept. Um, a couple things to make note of the clock. Most of these old clocks don't work. I've had a couple cars that the clocks don't work, so the clock doesn't work. It's got the AM FM original radio. I've driven this car multiple times, and the radio will come on once in a while by itself. I mean, once it's turned on, if you power it up, it comes on, and it plays for 15 seconds, and it doesn't power off, just the sound goes away. So there's something going on with that. You probably want to look into that. I, 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 didn't, I wouldn't dare put a 
aftermarket radio with such a low mile car, you want to keep it original. Trunk looks like it should. Again, all the rubbers, this is not replaced. This is all original rubber, soft and supple, not dry, not cracked. There's no rust on this car. Um, I would have to believe that's not the original spare. I would have thought this car probably had a full size spare, but all up under here is, is, is very original looking, very good. There's no, like I said, no rod or rust. I mean, all that stuff is, looks great as a 14,000 mile car should look. So the trunk looks pretty good. Um, all the badging, all the 98 emblems all look great. All the glass looks good. Oh, there is a, um, there's a, a chip on in the glass here. I'm gonna get my local, I'm gonna see if they'll fix it. I'm, uh, have my local glass company try to try to fix that chip. So I just wanna at least mention that to you. Look at the interior on this side. All the power windows work, the power seats, the power windows, the locks, tilt, all that stuff. And the steering wheel, again, the this fact that it was not cracked, all the wood grain's in great shape. Sometimes the steering wheels will crack here, they'll crack on the top. The wood grain will get deteriorated and, and, and go away, and it's it's not, it's in great shape. Look at the pedals, look behind the pedals. Everything is just new and fresh and clean looking, just like you'd expect, again, on a 14,000 mile car. There's very little to uh, pick on this car. I mean, you know, it does have a four stage paint correction. So we clay bar, polish, or, or clay bar compound, polish, and then we use a, 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 a final phase with the um, ceramic coating, ceramic coating product that we use. And I went around and touched up, like if you look on the front of the car, on the nose, they're so flat, they pick up nicks and chips and bugs. So we clean that up pretty good. I did do some touching up. So there is some touched up nicks, miscellaneous on the car here and there, mainly on this front, but the, the color actually blended pretty good. I got the factory color. The engine bay, again, 14,000 mile car. Look how clean and pristine it is. You know, we freshened it up and cleaned it and detailed everything nicely. Um, I've got the uh, I've got the sticker coming for the um, the emission sticker coming that's not arrived yet, and then this, the the um, uh, sticker for the breather for your air cleaner. So that'll be added, and when, I, and when I get that, I'll add those to the pictures. But look at the block and all the wiring and hoses and everything about it. It's just, it's just very well preserved. I mean, all this is nice and clean, and the finish is correct. And get a picture of the VIN code here, VIN tag. I got that. And we'll do a driving video and a cold start video, but I mean, the engine bay looks incredible. Uh, the undercarriage of the car is very similar to the rest of the car, very clean, very pristine. Christian, if you wanna go around the back and go up under the car and show uh, the undercarriage, you know, it's not, not concourse, but it's very clean. It's not rotted or rusted or filthy or dirty. It's just how you expect a very well-preserved low mile car to look. And the thing drives great. And when I do the video, I'll show you. I'm pretty impressed with the power this car has. It is a 455 four barrel, you know, 72. They still have some decent horsepower. And for this size car, I mean, I think you'll be impressed with the way it performs. It just rides good, it drives good, and the paint looks really nice. You know, you gotta keep in mind, it's, it's older paint. It's almost 50 year old paint, but it's held up incredibly well. And the, and the work that I had done, like I had this quarter spray, the guy did a really good job of matching it and blending it nice. And um, you know, with the car being paint corrected, it just it, everything kind of ties in together. All the chrome trim around the bottom's in great condition. Like I said, I, ha I have found zero rust on this car, which is important. And these 98 coupes are hard to find. 72 was a good year, it's a good looking car. Uh, drives beautiful, everything, you know, like I said, with the exception of the, the clock we spoke about and the radio kind of has a mind of its own. But again, I'm, I'm really impressed with the engine bay. You know, these are things that, you know, a lot of times you see these old cars and just nasty up under there. This thing is, is very well uh, preserved and, and freshened up very nicely. Let's see this. And again, um, you know, look around the car, look at all the pictures. I got a ton of pictures. And um, air condition blows cold. We also, in preparation for the sale, sent it to the shop. So we, we had the service done to, and, and my guys check everything to make sure it's road ready. So this is not a car that's got to worry about falling apart and starting to fix stuff. I mean, as of right now, it runs good. It's been serviced, it's ready to go. Um, the car's been sitting here for a couple of days and up under the car, you know, it's got a couple little drops of, uh, of oil, which again is typical. These cars sit, the seals go bad, but it's not like an oil slick under there. a couple little drops just to be expected. But overall, you have a beautiful car, a very low mile car, and the car that you can just hop in and drive and enjoy. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them very quickly and good luck fitting guys.